You know, some people have asked me, Hey Skink Link, why don't you play any new games? And to them I say, Who are you? How'd you get in my house? But actually it's really because I don't have any new games. I mean, just look at all of these. Not a single new game. I do happen to have the Xbox One, PS4, and Switch, but as a stupid, functioning adult, I don't have time to play them. Who would have thought? <sighs> well, that changes today. I feel like playing something new. But wait, games cost money still, right? Wait, do I even have money? Oh, hey, all right. You know, I totally forgot you could use paper money to buy things. To the computer! <sighs> all right. So apparently there's this new fangled service called Steam where you can buy and play games for your PC. So let's find something to play. Okay, how about this one? Ooh, 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 or maybe this one. Now, I just need to buy it. Oh, crap. That didn't work. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to find some sort of free game. So let's check out the free section, all right. Worn Thin. Sounds great. It's made by Oakley Blade Games, which made Worn Thin, and that's it. Oh boy, I get to review someone's first game ever? Eh, seems kind of mean, but uh, how would I like it if someone critiqued my first video I ever made? Eh, well, good thing it's not on YouTube, so let's get started. Booting up the game, we're given two choices. Play or wuss out. Well, obviously I'm not a wuss, so I guess play? Let's click that, and then we get airdropped into this guy's gaping maw. And now we are controlling the pill. Hey, is that a picture of a polar bear? Binky? Is that you? Can I leave the mouth? Uh, no. I can't. Oh well, I guess I better do that thing that pills are supposed to do. Go to the back of the throat. Unless you're me, and can't swallow pills very easily. I gotta do the Ben Affleck thing where I chew my pills, which is about as enjoyable as it sounds. So, back to the throat. Okay, so I just gotta make it down these platforms. I... died? Okay, let's try this again. Drop into the mouth, go to the back of the throat, and... dead. Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to touch these black platforms. Oh, but at least I could stick to the walls. And I die. And die. And die. Hold on, let me check something real quick. Mm-hmm. It says, not a rage game. Right. Okay. Right! Okay! Right! Okay! This is one of those trial and error games. You know, you make a mistake, you go back to the beginning type of game. These games that are designed to be hard. Well, hopefully I can make progress here before I go crazy then. Just death after death, and the game keeps count too. You get to see it every time the game drops you back into the barely toothy void of this guy on the operating table. And believe me, you'll see this a lot. Okay, back in the gob, then down the throat, and finally, Okay, I made some progress. Now we gotta get past these... Okay, let's try... Aha! We can move on the walls! Alright, now I've managed to get to some platforms. Now let's just jump. I fell. I fell through the platform. Great. Oh, I'm not mad! You're mad! Apparently, this is the only platform you don't fall through. And luckily, they marked it with a giant arrow. But yeah, whatever. It's moving on walls time. Hopefully I can get to this green area. Okay, now down, 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 and dead? The fuck did I just play? I'm sorry, did I just play a game where you play as a pill jumping across a pit of despair inside a terribly ill man just to die agonizingly with one of the most horrid screams I've ever heard? Oh, and uh, what does it say here? You dissolved to help the body. 
Well, hooray! Apparently that is a much more gruesome death than the others, right? What was the sound of the regular dying again? <coughs> and then, this! Okay, well, at least I beat the game, and oh, there's a, a QR code, let's uh, check it out and... Well then, if that's the way it's going to be played, it's time for the gloves to come off. The game itself is very short. When you know what you're doing, you could actually beat the whole thing in under three minutes. However, that doesn't mean it's a bad game. The game focuses on trying to be in a frustrating challenge in order to pad out the gameplay. It's lighthearted enough to laugh at itself, which is fair considering that this is quite possibly the first game Oakley Blade Games ever made. And if this really is the first game they ever made, at least it's a game. But I uh, thought it was going to be different. I honestly thought this was going to be more like Osmosis Jones or something. From the screenshots of the game, it looked like a platformer, which it absolutely is, and I thought it would have a lot of cool weird stuff that an ultra low budget game would have. It does have those elements at least. Inside the guy, you'll see bones floating around, and he swallowed pizza, soda cans, and various other things. Wait, what? Why? I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure that taking a pill is not going to cure you of swallowing fucking aluminum cans! Oh, and let's just look at this guy. He has bad teeth, he's completely bald, and has bugged out eyes. Oh, and let's not forget eating things that aren't food. So obviously, the go-to medical treatment is taking a pill. Oh, but I forgot, if the pill gets stuck in your throat, you just have to take another, and another, and another, until one finally, magically arrives in the stomach and dissolves. That's exactly how that works. Anyway, I like the music, it's catchy and upbeat, the only issue is... The loop is a little rough. Whatever. One of the best things about games like these is trying to find all the little secrets. Like here, there's a little living room thing over here. How about we jump over there and check it out? Okay, I fell through the floor and look, a troll face. Died again, and I guess I could add Portal to Hell as one of the symptoms this guy has. This is a rage game, and I've effectively ruined it for everyone with this review. Sorry about that, but I wanted to talk about the potential this game had. Like I said earlier, I thought this game would be more like Osmosis Jones, or at least longer, with more to it. It has good elements that makes it a decent first attempt at a game, the reviews on Steam are mostly positive, and there seems to be a, a tiny community for this game, surprisingly enough. So let's talk improvements if Oakley Blade decides to make Worn Thin 2. How about levels? Instead of one frustrating trek, you have the pill be diverted to another part of the body, and you can have it go back to where we were. Which works in tandem with my next suggestion. Some sort of storyline, maybe. It doesn't have to be much, maybe finding pills from before or something? How about enemies? There's viruses, bacteria, and even white blood cells you can have as rudimentary enemies. And you can still have secrets and crazy stuff that makes little sense here. That's one of the biggest draws to games like these. So if anyone watching this wants to play this game, well, guess what? It's absolutely free, so you can play it! Assuming it hasn't been completely ruined for you by watching this video. But anyway, I think I'm gonna be going to sleep. But in order to do that, I think I need a sleeping pill. <laughs>